Good morning, Matthew Swigert here. I'm going to continue my series on back pain and just overall body maintenance. It's really, really important. I, I was realizing the other day how important daily stretching is for your body. You know, back in my days uh, when I was studying ballet back in college, I just had a, about four months I was training in the ballet at the ballet bar and there was a lesson in the ballet world that says when the dancer misses a day of stretching, the dancer feels it. And if the dancer misses two days of stretching, the audience will see it. So that's how important stretching is in the world of ballet. But in the world of just regular life, stretching is also extremely, extremely important. And I can't believe how many people go through their life without daily stretching. It's just amazing to me. The thing about daily stretching is when you get into it, it releases so many endorphins in your body. It is so enlivening and so fun. And all those crampy pains, all those little recalcitrant muscles and aches and joint pain can all be relieved through a simple practice of daily stretching and movement. Okay, conscious movement is at the core of good health. I've been a bodywork therapist for almost 30 years now. I practice Heart Mind Shiatsu, which is my own brand of body manipulation and movement one-on-one -on -one to help you get that energy in your body flowing once more. I also teach Qigong and yoga. Uh, now, the yoga that I teach, though, is informed by my shiatsu practice. So all my yoga postures are related to the meridian channels of energy. And I want to just go through a couple of them right now. My first one that I love much is, this is called the lung, large intestine, metal element stretch. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, I link my thumbs and point the index finger. I started with a back bend and now I'm in the forward bend and I stretch and release those hamstrings. Oh my God. Drop the head, stretch the shoulders up toward the sky. Get those arms out of the shoulder socket. Oh, then somebody pulls you by the fingers back up and you roll back up the spine. Woo, and then when you're up, you're gonna switch the interlace of your thumbs. You're gonna do a back bend. Oh, if you can back bend, oh, just see how far you can go, but not too far, all right? And then coming out of your back bend, go into a forward bend. Oh, flat back, and then round your back at the end. Oh, stretch those hips up to the sky, stretch those fingers up to the sky. Oh, drop your head, release it. Your head should dangle at the end of your spine like a piece of ripe fruit at the end of a branch. And then somebody pulls you by the index fingers and you roll back up. Let your knees bend slightly under you as you roll back up. Woo! Woo! And release the arms and give yourself a little waggle. Ah, that's our metal element stretch. And after doing the metal element stretch, I like to drop into the Qigong Wuji posture. So you see that my movement form is this hybrid form drawing the best from yoga and the best from Qigong and the best from somatic awareness, awakening your consciousness in your body. I can't emphasize enough how good this feels, how it will release more endorphins than your coffee cup or whatever substance it is that you want to jack yourself up with. All you need is a little gentle movement exercise with deep breathing and you will excite and awaken and enliven your whole body and begin to relieve some of those nagging, annoying aches and pains that dog your every step. Oh, this is awesome. 
Thank you for your kind attention. I think I'm going to stay in Wuji for a little while, but I'm going to back off and stop this video for now.